Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick fun video of my sneaker collection. My sneaker collection really isn't that big, but I also thought I would put in a few sneakers I've been eyeballing at the end that are kind of on my wish list, I would say. I'm trying to justify my purchases of sneakers a little bit more just because I've gotten two pairs since being in quarantine and so I haven't really worn them out yet. So I feel like getting new pairs, I'm like, chill out, you three pairs. I have three new pairs of sneakers since being in quarantine. <laughs> okay, but I don't have a lot. I think I've narrowed down my sneaker collection really nicely, but now I want some new pairs too, because three of my shoes look exactly the same. Okay, well let's just get into my sneaker collection. I figured I'd also do a little like styling, how I tend to style them. I mean, a couple of these shoes, they are so versatile, you can literally wear them with anything, but let's just get started. Starting with my oldest pair of sneakers, it's the Nike MK2 Technos. I got these, I think, a year ago, and they've held up super nicely. They're kind of dirty now because I've worn them so much, but I think that this style is the perfect chunky dad shoe if you don't want like super chunk like the fila uh what are those called i'll put a picture here the super chunk like those but you want to still have that dad sneaker feel i think the nike technos are literally perfect they have ones where this um blue part is more is black they have also have a warmer tone version of these like in a cream color um, I don't know, I just love these. I think if I wash them, I'll wear them a lot more. They don't look as good dirty, like how some shoes look good dirty. These ones aren't that. Um, I wish I kept them in a little better condition, but the Balenciaga, like, dad shoe look, but a dupe. And I like these ones better because they're not as massive. So going with those ones, I'm going to say my wishlist ones. And it's the New Balances everyone has. It's the New Balance 990. Yeah, the New Balance 990, just those gray New Balances. Um, 990 V5 is the exact name and these are selling for like 200 bucks now on resale shops. For a pair of New Balances, I'm not paying $200. That just seems absolutely ridiculous to me. So they have the exact same shoe in the little boys version and they were are 100 bucks on Zappos, uh, Finish Line, all those kind of stores. So I think the little boys go up to a women's eight and a half. So if you've been eight and a half or smaller, you can get the New Balance 990s for half the price. Um, that's just a tip. Honestly, go buy them. Make them sold out for me so I don't have the chance to buy them. I don't need them. So I've been trying to back up from those. We'll see if it happens or not. I don't have any gray tennis shoes, so that's my justification, but. These are my newest shoes I've gotten, I'm pretty sure. One of my newer pairs. These are the Adidas Rival Rivalries. Um, I got them off Urban. They're on sale right now. I think they were originally 80 and now they're like 70 bucks. I think that these are just a great white sneaker. Um, I don't know, I can't get myself to buy Air Force Ones. I just, I don't like shoes that every single person has, or I try not to do it. I, I mean like those New Balances, everyone has those, but uh, such a white sneaker, you can get so many different white sneakers that look like New ba or Air Force Ones that aren't just Air Force Ones. But my problem with these is that they're so, like, they don't bend at all. I know sneaker, real sneakerheads are cringing that I just did that, but it makes it really hard to walk in. Like, my foot is so stuck that these are pretty uncomfortable for just being a sneaker. And, like, the Nike MK2s are so comfy. I mean, they're a dad sneaker, but these ones, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend them. I'm kind of regretting purchasing them, but they're such a great plain white sneaker. I had, I was trying to like dupe low top Jordans that were just all white like this, and they were my everything, but I wore them so much that the leather was like breaking and turning brown, so I finally got rid of them, and I was so upset. Um, I should have just got them again, but I feel weird about buying the same shoe over and over. I'm like, come on, branch out. Yeah, they're cute, just not as comfy as I wanted them to be. And then these are my last white sneakers, <laughs> I promise. 
these are just the Reebok classics that so many people have. Um, these are the ones with the gum bottom, you can kind of tell. I mean, you can tell there, but from the side, you can still tell a little bit. These, again, are so freaking comfy. Um, they go with basically anything. I might be selling them just because they're so similar to the Adidas rivalries. It's just, I can't justify having that similar of shoes. For as much as I shop, I binge my closet three times as much. Like, I am constantly selling my stuff on Depop and Poshmark. Make sure to check out my um, closets. I'm uploading a ton of stuff. These, again, I think um, since they're so like slimming and cute, they're a lot more girly to me. So if I'm wearing a midi skirt or shorts or stuff like that and I want the full outfit to be a little more girly, I'll put on these shoes instead of the chunky dad shoes. I can't say anything bad about these. You don't know how bad I just want <laughs> my low top Jordans back. Oh my God, I'm gonna put a picture of exactly what they are. At one point on StockX, they were 30 bucks, and I was like, you don't need to buy a second pair of those. Like, why would you get two pairs of the same shoe? Another wishlist shoe is a shoe everyone has already gone through, and I'm so late to this trend, but it's the Nike Cortezes. I think that the white and black swoosh Nike Cortezes look so comfy. Um, well, they are so comfy. My brother Jackson has them. He's a real sneakerhead, so he's the reason. I get half the sneakers that I do. Um, I'll send him pictures and be like, should I get these? And he's like, no, they're awfully made, terrible. Sometimes I listen to him, sometimes I don't, but the Nike Cortezes, he says, they're really comfy. They're pretty cheap. I think they're $70 on the Nike website. Um, they're just another shoe that goes with everything. I think the Nike Cortezes with those really wide trousers is so cute. Okay, going into my more fun sneakers, these ones my brother bought me. <laughs> Like I said, he's going to yell at me like for how they look, but you'll see better when I wear them with an outfit. These are such a statement. They're just um, high top Jordans. I love the color. I really, I had another pair of these that I'm selling on my Poshmark, but um, I never wore them because they were a couple different colors and I wanted something a little more basic. And for some reason with Jordans, I really like the white bottom. These look so cool with sweatpants, um, just that really street style look. They spice up any outfit or the Ogoldi 90s fit jeans and you cuff them and then these on. I think that is such a cool look with like black sunnies and a hoodie, your hair pulled back, stellar. I love that. Um, these are so comfy too. I can't say anything bad about these. Besides, I can't slip them on and off without tying them, and that bothers me. Is that a real problem? No. <laughs> Filming this, like, I just want to go and buy those low-top Jordans. Okay, another pair of shoes I got in quarantine are the Converse Run Star Hikes. And everyone says these look like dinosaur shoes, but I think they're so cool. Um, they are one of my most comfortable pair of shoes, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you totally should. <laughs> I learned how to do an ollie in these shoes, and now I'm learning how to do a shove it, and I can actually ride my skateboard with Brandon like around the block, and I was like, why is it these shoes that I can do that in? And it's the ankle support. I'm not terrified that I'm going to twist my ankle or break my ankle or roll my ankle. So I love wearing these to skateboard, which is super weird, but also this platform, this is all like foam. It's not like the normal um, Converse bottom and it's so much support and cushion. And I think having these little spikes at the bottom is also a lot of support. So when we go on walks around the block, because I know everyone is just doing walks around the block right now, um, I'm always wearing these shoes because they're so comfy. I feel like I look crazy going around my block in these, but I love them so much. I think that my favorite outfit is wearing a full black sweatsuit and then these shoes, it spices it up so much. Um, then also I think sundresses with these shoes is so cute. Um, I think they're my new, like, they're almost like a boot to me, so I think in the winter I'll be wearing these a lot more. Um, I think I'm selling both my con, or not confers, I'm selling both my Doc Martens and this was what justified that. Um, I will be wearing these so much more. The last pair of sneakers that are on my wish list are the Nike Blazer Mid 77s. I think that's how you say it. I'm reading it straight off the Nike website. They're $100. Um, again, 
I've been loving high top shoes right now. I think they're so much more comfortable. I think that these are such a great shoe. I think they would look so cute with baggy jeans and hiding the high top. And then also these with um, shorts and dresses to show that you're wearing high tops is super cute. Also, even these with like leggings I think would really, really cute because they're high top but they're not too chunky. Like these with leggings, I look like a spider or like my legs are just sticks. So I don't like how that looks, but I think that these are a lot more slimming, so it would more so elongate your legs, not make you look so like bottom heavy. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. They have a lot of cute colors. I've been looking at the black swoosh, but also the yellow, the neon yellow swoosh, because that is so cool right now. And the detailing on these shoes are just really cute. Um, I, I don't know, I'm really leaning towards it but I don't need them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, those are all my sneakers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really last minute to film, but I figured it'd be something fun to share with you guys. I always get questions on all my shoes. If you guys want another video with all my other shoes, let me know in the comments below. I know that a lot of people look for sneaker videos like this. I don't know so much about heels and sandals and boots but I'll do whatever you guys want also this little sweatshirt I just made this yesterday and I have a video coming out with eight DIY thrift flip or closet shopping flips um, so that's really exciting I have a lot of fun stuff coming out for you guys I love you so much you mean the absolute world to me make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys in a few days I love you bye